Now set up for details now because President Akufado has identified civilization of the CD as his top priority as the government undertakes a SWOT analysis of the economy with an interest group. Now the CD this week showed signs of recovery against the US dollar and other trading currencies after weeks of tumbling. A sustained clampdown on the black market is a key strategy of the government to reverse the depreciation. Now, at a meeting with the Ghana Employees Association and the Private Enterprise Foundation, the president disclosed that a deal with the International Monetary Fund is close. Inflation rate was 37.2. That is one of the highest in recent history. So what uh, all this is posing major challenges for us as employers. The city depreciation is rapidly eroding the working capital of most of our members, if not all. And this threatens our ability to grow our businesses, retain employees, and let alone create more jobs. Cost of borrowing has shot up significantly. You know, as of March this year, the Bank of Ghana rate was 14.5%, and it has shot up by 1,000 basis points taking it to 24.5 as of September this year. This base rate increase has significantly affected our ability to raise capital to grow our businesses. But we know the reasons. We understand and we know that working together we should find our way out. Uh, for a number of us, our basic raw materials are imported. And so if you have a CD depreciating at that rate, the cost of production is going to significantly increase. It is not in all circumstances that you are able to transfer the cost to the final consumer. And so with that happening, it means you are, the businesses are running at a loss. And this sadly hurts us because we have made a firm determination that we are going to support the government's agenda of creating jobs and growing our economy. And so we believe that we will have to work together on this to see how the exchange rate depreciation can be halted along, along the line as soon as possible so together we can win. Uh, the rising rate of food products and all of this is creating some ripples on the industrial relations front. How is this? Our employees are feeling the pinch. The businesses are also feeling the pinch. So if we are not able to really match the wage bill, I mean the um, 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 uh, wage levels with the increasing rate of inflation, there is turmoil at the workplace because employees in their mind believe that the employer should be able to provide all of their needs. It doesn't happen anywhere in the world, but that is human psychology for you. And so what do we do as, a, as employers? What do we do as a country? And what do we do as a government? I think we, we can put our heads together to find a way out. So we have a few recommendations for the government and for all of us, I should say, Your Excellency. In the short to medium term, we recommend that the following steps, I, I know Governor Addison and his team are all doing a few of those things already, and we want to encourage them to do a little bit more on that, to stabilize the, foreign, the forex rate as quickly as we can. Uh, the petroleum sector, we know a, a platform was created for them. 
And I hear about 25% of their needs, forex needs were provided. Incidentally, this doesn't look to be enough. And so if you see the rate at which the fuel prices are rising at the dump, it sends ripples all over the place. <laughs> so Your Excellency, distinguished uh, ministers of state and all gathered here, our plea and our recommendation is that maybe Governor Addison and his team should look at how we can reprioritize our import needs and see where we can put a lot more into this, uh, onto this platform so that if it is fuel, transportation, that drives virtually everything, then let's put a lot more in there. And if we did, it will help stem the tide of the depreciation of the CD and also the rising rate of inflation. I know His Excellency and his team met the Forex Bureau operators either yesterday or today which is a good thing that we are We think we need to regulate the operations of forex bureaus. We shouldn't ban them. Employers are not saying we should ban them. If we ban them, they'll go underground, and that will even worsen their speculative activities. So what we are saying is that let us, globally, you go anywhere and you will not be able to just go and change your currency. You have to show your passport or some ID so we know who is buying what or who is selling what. Uh, appreciation of the solidarity that the Employees Association are showing with government in terms of its analysis of the problems confronting the country. I think there's a great synergy here of the uh, of 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 of, of, of uh, the intellectual and uh, policy uh, prescriptions that first of all give us what, why things are happening, and then what we need to do to resolve them. I think that um, the centerpiece, the need to focus on the stabilization of the currency, and then the subsequent measures that, have, that are being called for by you. I believe that these are all matters that the government is already very committed to realizing. And uh, uh, for our purposes here, it would be perhaps a good idea to have little vignettes from the finance minister and from the bank of the governor of the Bank of Ghana to indicate to you exactly what is being done. Because working with an association such as yours, and especially, of course, with your membership in, in trying to develop and strengthen our economy, that is at the heart of the work of government. And it is to that extent that I am encouraged by the consanguinity that there is between how you see the things and how we see things. I think it's, 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 it's very encouraging at this stage to have that from such a responsible organization as you are. So I would like to uh, call upon the Minister for Finance to give us a, a brief overview of where we are.